Good afternoon, guys. We are back at the Goodwill. What's the time? Right now, it is 3.25 p.m., if you can see that. We're going to see what the difference is between coming here in the morning versus coming here a couple hours before they close because this Goodwill actually closes at 6 p.m. Both of them in my market close at 6 p.m. So let's see what we can find. just took a look at all of the polos this is pretty much the only highlight that i found but there's this right here around the entire collar and uh, i just don't think that i can take this off it is a burberry golf but because of that i don't think it would sell i'm gonna take a look at the button down see if there's anything usually i don't find any clothes here so who knows if you ever find starbucks branded items at your goodwills or flea markets always check these out starbucks cups for some reason hold their value like their apple products the problem with this one was there was a chip in the uh inside the cup i found one that was very very similar selling for about 20 bucks i think but because of the chip that was inside of the cup uh, i decided not to pick it up just because i thought it wouldn't resell i thought maybe people would get like uh uh, maybe wouldn't like it, but I did find this Wonder Woman Zack branded cup. This was a pretty cool find, man. Some some Gary V action. I've picked up Matchbox cars in the past, but you have to really make sure it's the type of car that people want. Uh, Jeeps usually sell the best, and maybe some supercars. I also found this Outdoor Challenge Wii thing. I've never seen this in my life. I did look it up on eBay, selling for about 30 bucks, which is good, brand new, but because of the weight, and also found a Hot Wheels car, but because of the weight on the Wii thing, Thing, and uh, they wanted ten dollars for it I decided to just leave that found a couple cars but like I said man you really have to find the cars that people want uh, some are worth more than others and I'm just taking a look man found this Marvel Heroes checkers game which actually ended up being worth something and they didn't want that much money for it Man, stop playing with me, what? Well, after alerting the entire store of my presence, wanted to pick up these Darth Vader shaped playing cards. Uh, took a quick look at them, man. They didn't want too much money, maybe like $1.18. I forgot how much they're selling for. It's kind of hard to see on that angle. Uh, looks like only three sold in the past, so I decided to put it back. Wasn't really worth much. I was kind of confused on what these things were because they call them diapers or genie diapers or something like that, but these are the things that you actually put over a baby's toilet. Uh, so that it catches the baby's poop and because I found two of them I can lot them together and make more money and Targus is a good brand if you can find Targus things brand new They sell for some good money online. Sadly, this one was used and bad. So this really confused me These are the gold collection by dimensions little stitch things This is something that a babushka would use in her free time You know when she's away from her grandchildren. She wants to stitch something for them uh, The problem was is one of these things was $13 the other one was about $9, and then the last one was about $6, so I don't know who priced this. I don't know if three separate people priced these things, but I ended up picking two out of the three, and I just left the one that was like $13 because that's too much money, man. When I was taking Physics 2, we actually had to buy one of these. They're called iClickers. I think this is the newer model, iClicker 2. I always used to just use my phone. It was a lot easier. But pretty good find, man. Pretty good find. I'm finding some decent things. I'm just having to do a lot of digging for it. Like, here's a lens right here. Maybe worth something. So I was going to talk in real time about this. That's why I didn't really show it too much. But they're called Melissa and Doug, created by me. Wooden craft toys for kids. One of them was a dollar ninety-eight. The other one was a dollar eighteen. Again, I'm gonna lot both of them up together because individually they sell for about ten dollars. But if I can, you know, lot them up together, I can sell them for twenty dollars, save money on shipping, and it just works out, man. Because they're not heavy items. I always like to make one last round before I leave the Goodwill, and just out of the corner of my eye, I found this thing called the Simply Charming Bible. Uh, saw a bunch of them going online for like $25, $30, so I feel like I could price mine a little bit less, sell it as brand new because it comes in the original box, and you can see Girlfriend picked up this huge mirror, man. I was unhappy because the light kept shining from the mirror straight into my eyes as I pushed the cart. This is what you call tag team action right here, so Girlfriend's on FaceTime 
time with me. She was showing me something all the way across the store. I'm on the opposite side of the store. This is how you can maximize your earnings in the Goodwill, man. If you can bring someone with you, always do it. Okie dokie. So one thing that I don't like about going to the Goodwills later on in the day, especially around rush hour, is the traffic. It took so long to get here that we don't even have a full hour anymore. We only have about 50 minutes and even less than that because they're going to try to force us out with those like notifications on the intercom excuse me shoppers we got 30 minutes excuse me shoppers we got 29 minutes hey they're closed for easter sunday good thing we don't come here on sundays it's orange tags too i'm not even gonna try to hide it i've been getting into reselling mugs this is a mickey mouse one sadly cracked or chipped on the top right there but it was some like mickey mouse coffee mug big blue nice mug if it wasn't for that chip i would have probably made about 20 bucks on it here is another zach branded one i picked up the wonder woman there's that one uh, mickey mouse snowflake if there was two of those i could have made about 20 bucks but there was only one so two to ten nah I've picked up Harley shirts that sell within a week of me listing it, and I've picked up other ones that have taken me months to list. This one's kind of broad. It, it's talking about the whole Florida. It's not just a city. Uh, because it says Florida, USA, I think it might sell a little bit faster, and it might help that it is a 2XL. And, you know, bigger people need clothes too. Here is a good example of checking your clothes. So you can see I'm looking at the label, looking at the sleeve, looking at the bottom of the shirt, and boom, I see something uh, came right off. So I'm like, okay, let me look at the back the back is looking good always look under the armpits for sweat stains and I'm looking at the bottom of the shirt this is one of the last places I check and boom there it goes there is not one but there is two holes in this untucked shirt which makes it not worth it I'm so happy whoever priced these shirts is a noob. This is a Hugo Boss. You guys know Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss is a very big and popular brand. Had a little bit of stain right there. Came right off. Man, you just gotta lick your you got you gotta lick your finger a little bit, rub the shirt, comes right off. Uh, but they only wanted two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Yes, that yeah, you heard me right. Two ninety-eight for a Hugo Boss t-shirt. I had to pick that up. The stain will come off easily, no rips, no tears, easy money. A lot of times when you go into the Goodwill, you're going to find brands that you have no idea what they are. This is a Pierre Cardin Paris. Never heard of it. Looked it up online. The only ones that are selling are from like the United Kingdom and they want like $25 global shipping, uh, which is crazy. So I picked it up brand new. I think it was about $6.98. I'm going to make money on it. And finally, with the last three minutes of being in the store, somehow girlfriend manages to find a brand new Michael Kors V-neck t-shirt. MSRP is about $70. It's clean. A little bit of stain right there came right off. I actually just cleaned out. All you need to take something like this off is a toothbrush and some water. Don't scrub too hard. Scrub gently. It'll come right off. And I just turned, how much was this shirt? Like six, seven dollars. Just turned seven dollars into about 20, 30 bucks. Easy, dude. Maybe less than that. It depends on when, whether it sells from like uh, Poshmark or eBay, but you can see the time. Goodwill closes at six. It was 5.54. Beautiful shirt that girlfriend found let's go ahead and get out of here all right let's go to girlfriend and see if she wants to buy this girlfriend are you buying this yeah okie dokie girlfriend likes to buy ripped jeans it's one of her favorite things turn around let me see those no not those the ones you're wearing ripped again she really likes the ripped ones okie dokie so we were the second to last ones out of the goodwill today let's go over everything that we found so starting with this this is a zach wonder woman mug strongest woman alive thought it looked really cool little dirty inside but i can clean that off easily i was peeling it off uh, so i know it'll come off and they packaged it nicely for us this was a pretty cool find it's a marvel heroes checkers set brand new in the box what is that dude they wanted 6.99 in whatever store it came from sorry if that went in your eyes uh but brand new sealed i'll pick those up uh these there's actually two of them in there uh these are like diaper type of thingies man this one's the new one and then this one's the older version but it's cool because i'm just gonna stick them together they were four dollars well two dollars or actually no they were three dollars a piece so it's gonna be six dollars into 20 and it should weigh less than a pound hopefully Ooh, it's that on. yeah i know and then there's this eye clicker two that i found i was talking about this at the goodwill comes with the batteries included so when i'm listing it i'll actually turn it on uh, to show the buyer that it works now these things were interesting they're the gold collection by dimensions now i was i think hopefully i got it on video but this one was five dollars and this one was nine dollars and there was another one that was thirteen dollars 
These are brand new and they sell for some very, very good money online. And you can see that they originally sold for 31, discounted to 18, and then this one discounted to uh, $9. Uh, what do you got there, girlfriend? Oh yeah, I remember picking these things up. Little wooden craft kit type of things. Uh, $1.18 for that one, $1.98 for that one. Don't know what the why the price difference, but I'm gonna lot those up together as well, sold for 20 bucks. And then this thing I just found like on my way out of the first Goodwill. It's a brand new charming Bible. There is little marks right there. Hopefully that doesn't affect it too much, but the other ones online are going for way much more money than I'll list that one for. And real quick, going through all of the shirts that we found, here is a Hugo Boss. This one did have the stains, but I feel like we can take it off. And uh, it does show the Boss little stamp thingy right there. So works. I've never actually even heard of this brand. It's called Pierre Cardin Paris. The only listings I've seen on this online are shipping out for like 20 to $25 plus the cost of the shirt. So I'm thinking on eBay, I'll get a good price for this one. Here is a Harley Davidson t-shirt. The good thing about this one is that it's uh, it's kind of broad. It says Florida, USA. It doesn't just say like St. Pete or Clearwater or, or any city. It's, it's actually the entire state. So I think that's what will help itself faster. And then finally in the closing minutes, girlfriend found this one. Very, very lucky. The Michael Kors V-neck. I don't know how she found this one. I even asked her like, where'd you find it? She just said she found it. Where, where'd you find it? end cap on a little end cap so very good find to end the day so does it matter what time you come to the goodwill i would say no when we went to the first goodwill they were still stocking the shelves they were still putting things up there was still the yellow bins and the blue bins out uh so i think that they just stocked the store the entire day sometimes you'll get lucky with the hour that you choose to come and sometimes you won't so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys for watching and i'm signing out have a good night guys